Hello. Uh, in the first part of this series, we're going to be talking about some, either an accessory to your uh, circuitry, the ability to have your own power, 5 volt power supply at home through a 9 volt battery. The second one is just showing you a display of what your traffic light controller would look like. And the third one, uh, think of it as a, a possible application of the same circuit, but building an electronic die. So the first one is related to this 7805 control, uh, voltage controller, 5 volt, uh, 5 volt voltage controller. What it does is that if you look at the pins, there are three pins, even though it's an integrated circuit inside, it's not just a transistor even though it looks like one. This is pin number one on the most left, pin number two and pin number three on the most right. So from one to two, if you put your positive nine volt battery into the one and negative one into the second pin, then from the third pin to second pin, third pin is five volt and the second pin would be ground or would be the negative of the five volt power supply. It's obvious that for this to work, you need at least six volt battery or higher. Any voltage higher, of course there's a limit to what this IC can handle. And the idea here is that because you're going to be dealing with the uh, integrated circuits which are TTL and they require 5 volt uh, power supply, so at least you can test this uh, power supply or you test your circuits at home since you're going to have the 5 volt power supply automatically through a 9 volt battery. If you go to the uh, component store, you can buy the regulator with the cap holding the 9 volt battery for about $1.50. Right? That way with the 9 volt battery, you can test your circuits at home. You can test your, uh, at least the circuits that require at least five, uh, about five volts to, uh, to be, uh, to be uh, uh, powering up the circuit that you have. So in this case, I, uh, I assume that you will have one so that you can test your circuits at home and bring them only for demonstration or for debugging purposes or for, uh, for other reasons. One, you want to implement maybe a, another version of it. Uh, for example, you will see that the first two stages of the traffic light controller are going to be exactly the same as the one you will build in experiment number seven. And this is the reason I tell the students not to dismantle the first two stages uh, because they will be used with added circuitry to build the traffic light controller. And you see here that the lights are going red, green, yellow. Uh, in, in, in an order that is, uh, that is satisfactory of an intersection, right? One set is for one, in the, one direction, one set is for the other direction. Another one here just to show you that you can again use the same two stages in, 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 with additional ICs. One is this electronic die. As you see here, if I put this capacitor, you will see that it works exactly the same as the one you will build for for uh, uh, for for uh, for the boardwalk wheel, except it counts from one to six. So in this case, I used one IC to force it to count from one to six instead of from zero to fifteen, which you would expect from the counter you're using, uh, and 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 because the numbers on a die are are only from one to six. The problem is that it is running very slowly. Well, these are just to interface with the seven segment display. Uh, slowly meaning it cannot be a game. A game is like when you have a roulette and you have to choose a number or you, you throw a die and you have to choose a number. So you, you, if you will know what number it is if you stop the count. Like in this case, I know I can stop it anywhere I want to, like at four, right? But if I remove this capacitor and I use a smaller one, now the, 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 the die, the, the counter is running extremely fast. And so when I stop it, I cannot guarantee where it will stop. Right now it's at six, another time it's at four. It's like you throw a die and you get a different uh, number each time. So this is done electronically. Uh, I could uh, show you how to build it, but as you, see, as you see, the first two are exactly the same as the boardwalk wheel. Uh, this is something you will learn in 251, how to use it to count specifically from 1 to 6. And the other two, uh, this one is just to uh, interface between binary 
and uh, seven segment uh, display. And these are the just resistors to protect the LEDs. These segments are just LEDs, just like the LEDs you use.